Oh, what's this? Rayleigh's finally gone up for pre-order on Ami Ami. I think I'll click on it. <laughs> what? Not again. Yes, it happened again. The infamous Portrait of Pirates pre-order sellout. Damn it, I missed it again. Yeah, well, this is uh, De Morcer. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, some people have asked me where where I buy my figures and whatnot. So I thought I'd do a little rundown of the different sites I use. Because there's a lot of them. And, yeah. So, well, yeah. First off is Ami Ami. It says it right there. Which is, you know, it's usually the first place to go. They usually have the best prices. And usually about 20% off. And um, there's the address for you. <sighs> of course, the thing is... With these things, you have to get on the pre-orders. But with the One Piece stuff, the pre-orders go up in smoke overnight. And I happen to work the night shift when these things go up, so I miss them pretty much every damn time. And let's see, next up, Hobby Link Japan, or HLJ.com. They usually tend to have higher prices, but their uh, shipping costs are pretty good. Yeah, I've used them quite a bit. Then there is Hobby Search, which is 19.99 for some reason. Uh, I don't really like to use these guys that much, cause their prices are pretty decent, but their shipping costs are outrageous. Oh, let's take a look at this. Reservation closed. What a surprise. And next. Odakute. Odakute. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to say that, but. I haven't used them that much yet, but. They seem to, uh. Their pre-orders seem to not run out quite as fast. They haven't put up pre-orders for the new POPs yet. So I'm going to have to stock this one for now, I guess. Hopefully I can get it through them. Hopefully. And next is, um, well, Big in Japan, which is currently down right now for some reason. Might have to do with something to do with the POPs, it wouldn't surprise me. It's killed Ami Ami before. There's the address. I, again, I haven't used them that much, but for, like, the limited stuff, like the Wedding Boa Hancock, 
which went up for pre-order a while ago, they're probably the ones I would go with just because they usually seem to have the most reasonable price for those instead of like $150, which is ridiculous. And next to uh, PlayAsia.com Which, uh, you know, they sell a whole lot of different stuff. Which includes figures as well. Though I haven't really used them that much for figures. But anyways. Also, CD Japan does sell stuff. I haven't really used them that much for figures or anything though. I've used them plenty for CDs. Huh. But yeah. Cuz you know, they they're called a uh, CD Japan. So, you know, you buy Japanese CDs from them. Anyways, next is uh a, a little site called Mandarake. Here's the address, and uh, this site is very, very useful. I just started using it a little while ago, but it's kind of like an auction site, kind of, sort of. Well, not really, but anyways. I'll just type in one piece here a minute. So basically, you'll find some stuff on here. And if the, they have it in one of their stores, you can buy it. And they tend to get some older stuff in stock too I mean look there's the swimsuit Hancock 7,000 yen that's a pretty good price a lot better than what you would usually find on eBay I mean 12,000 yen for Neo Zoro is pretty decent. They usually want more than like $200 for that one. It's also really good for like the band Presto stuff. The world collectible figures if you're into those. I recently got into those and they're <clears throat> Quite a, uh, quite an ordeal. But next, uh, on to the last resorts, as it were. First being ToysLogic.com. I end up using this site much more than I want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, because, well, they're usually, they've usually been the only place that I could get the, uh, P.O.P. pre-orders once they've all disappeared everywhere else. So, yeah. The thing is, you usually end up paying more here, and you have to wait at least a month after the Japanese release date before they'll get anything in. And I notice I say at least. I've had a lot of orders, figures through this site that get delayed a month or even two or three more 
for what reason I have no idea and also they also also charge me for stuff and not even send me an email about it like weeks before they even ship my order which I really don't care for either but anyways moving on a uh, big bad toy store which I haven't really used very much they mostly deal with uh, American toys but they do have some Japanese stuff as well it's kinda sometimes it's kinda just interesting to go through it and see if they have maybe some older harder to find stuff laying around or something but anyways and um Archonia which um I've not really used that much but if you're into the one piece uh world collectible figures they do have quite a few of them that quite a few of the older ones which are a bit harder to find so yeah anyways then of course there's the ebay's which you need to obviously be careful of like for instance here is a very obvious bootleg of Boa Hancock and look how much they want for it sixty dollars uh, I, I, I uh, own this figure I'm pretty sure she doesn't lean like that. Also kind of funny, uh, r right above it, white bread. <laughs> I thought that was amusing. But yeah, basically, you have to be careful here. Like, stuff like this, if... They just use the stock photos. I wouldn't trust them. Either ask for a uh, for an actual photo or go elsewhere. Yeah, there's another obvious bootleg. Though that one they want three dollars for it. At least there, they're being somewhat honest. But, yeah. Like I said, don't trust stock photos. Make sure they say that it is a legitimate item in the description. Because if they say that and it ends up being a fake, then you have something against them and like, the whatever it's called eBay buyer protection thing or whatever and also in the pictures make sure you can see the sticker on the box cuz sometimes like I saw a uh, Neo POP Luffy had the actual pictures on it but I noticed that oh that's actually a bootleg so yeah and also there's Amazon you can also use although of course this one is kinda tricky because you can't see actual pictures of it, so 
who knows what you might get. But a couple of sellers that I've bought from, like Robert's Anime Corner, you can always trust them. And uh, Anime King, I've bought from many, many times. And they've all been legit. This one thing is, I've never actually gotten a bootleg, so I've been lucky. Anime Wild, I've heard uh, bad things about. I'd probably stay away from them. Uh, not necessarily that they sell bootlegs, but I hear they have bad service, so... And, uh, this, uh, T-Sync 99 or whatever, should probably stay away from them too, because apparently they have some legit figures and some bootlegs. I did buy a figure from them once, and it turned out to not be a bootleg, so I got lucky, but... I probably wouldn't, you probably shouldn't uh, take a gamble on them. Oops, I had to cut out the last little bit there because I accidentally uh, showed my uh, actual name at the top of that Amazon page. Anyways, that's it for this little tutorial thingy. This, so, this is Demorsayer and... Now it's back to stocking for POPs, I guess. So, see you later.